all right guys so today we are unboxing the cycle board rover no assistant today because you guys were complaining uh, the other time that my assistant was way too sexy and um, I even saw some of you start doing your own unboxing with your girlfriend and your grandmother which is fine you know I encourage it but today no assistance we're just gonna unbox this we've been waiting for this um, electric scooter for a long time um, I got this mainly for my wife uh, because she tried it and she really liked it but it took a long time to get this so without no further talking and stuff let's just So the box actually looks like it's in really good condition um, that most of the scooters that I've gotten, most of them get beat up. So shout out to FedEx for not abusing this box. I know it's like a thing that they like to do and I understand sometimes the drivers get frustrated. They have nothing to take out their anger on so <clears throat> they start probably punching the box. So first thing. We got this box here. Just gonna open it and let's see what's inside. Oh, got the goodies. I think this is the charger. This, uh, so this screws are really big. I think this is for the two tires um, that you have to put on. What? The? This is a whole bleeding case. I hope I don't have to bleed this brake because I hate doing a bleed on a brake. So I'm happy that they put this here and I just hope that I don't have to do that on this. So thank you Cycleboard for including the bleed case. That's nice. Put that to the side and then of course I showed you guys the screw. Put that to the side and this is the other part of the charger. Now open up the thing. This is like a beefy charger. Ooh. Oh yeah. This is really big. Compared to the other charger, even the charger that I have the, for the Dutron, this is way bigger. And this is in uh this is a 60 volt uh, charger. So that's that. I'm gonna put that to the side. Bring you guys closer. Okay. So there's two boxes here. This is light. See if there's anything in there. There is nothing in here. Free box. So I guess we get a free box. Um, Hopefully it's not to return anything, but, you know. Okay. Oh. I think normally by now, I should see the scooter, but I don't see anything in there. And I think this box was pretty heavy. All right. So here we have the tire, right? We got the tire. It's a pretty beefy. Check this out. Oh, there it is. Say that the scooter was playing hide and seek with me. That's it right there. Um, I showed you guys. We got these two big tires. These things are pretty heavy. So that's what that's what was in the other box right there. So the other one was empty. Uh, I believe those are 10 inch tires. And then. Just remove this box and voila, there it is. You know, I think I was expecting the deck to be wider, like because of the box, so I was expecting it to be sticking out. 
but it's not. <laughs> All right, so let's get the rest of this styrofoam stuff out of here. Oof, this is long. This is a long scooter. Very long, that's what she said. So just gonna take out the plastic or probably try to pull it out with the plastic and then move this box so I can put it on top for you guys to see it. Or just, it's just pretty heavy. Oh nah, it's heavy but compared to the Dutrons, it is not that heavy. All right, so we're gonna have to get a better setup for this right now, because it's looking crazy. So I'll show you a little bit of a close up. Mm -hmm. and, uh, well, seems to be in pretty good condition, so that's good. It's always good to see. This is so long finish the rest of this stuff up I already know this video was gonna end up being long apologize for that let's move this yeah, comes up then we'll twist that in so that's how you bring it up um, so I think now what we're gonna do is install the tire. So we got these two big tires right here. Um, let me where this goes. Get one tire in. You also put a Loctite on this, so that's good. Like the tire is also already pumped up. It's good. I'm gonna rotate this around so we can do the other side. Alright. You always want the bow area to be sticking out. So if you're doing this, then you know you definitely have it wrong, just in case. But this is always sticking out, anyways. Put the other one in there. You always tighten by hand first with these things. So, always tighten by hand and then you use the tool that's been provided to go all the way. Go all the way. That's what she said. But the charging port is right there. Everything says made in China. I'm gonna power this thing on and see. It's gonna turn on. <laughs> you always wanna make sure that you power the stuff on. Okay. The brake doesn't look like it needs bleeding. So <laughs> thanks for the brake bleed system. That was pretty nice. Yeah. So this, you gotta rotate it because it's not tightened up all the way. When it's being shipped, they always keep it loose. Get up there. Because most of them will come with some type of charge. All right, yeah. So it's charged up a little bit, which is good. The display setting is it's nice. I mean, it's nothing to write home about, but just gonna, I think, it's, is it a kick to start? Yeah, I think it's, it's a kick to start. So the motor, I'm just gonna rotate it. So I do hear the the brake. Uh, 
calipers touching which most of the time with most of the scooters that i've gotten it's always like this so i'm gonna let's move up the speed something I'm probably gonna open this up this whole cover to take that open it up and see everything that's going on some reason this one looks like it's bigger or it has already been has somebody tried to loosen it up and it got scratched or something but that's the last one and then I can uncover this and take a look at the the brakes if it's actually what's making that noise or if it's coming from the motor because I'm gonna have to take that out um, I got a tool for it. The right tool, just it's not the right tool. So I'm gonna use one of my special tools to try to get it out. Kind of weird. Yep, thanks to my previous experience with other scooters I now have a bunch of tools oh, I think this is connected to the brake thing here So what I'm doing is just taking the taking this off. Ooh, I already had a little bit of long tide on there. Let's get this out. Uh, over to the side. So we're just gonna run, uh, run it again. We'll see if we can hear that noise that was happening. Okay. Turn it on. That was coming from the brakes, uh, not being adjusted properly. So as you can see right now, I'm not adding anything. It's just the motor. So the noise was coming from the brake, uh, I guess not being put on there properly. 
Um, I hope that the disc is not bended because I'm looking through it right now. Uh, the brake disc. Because this thing is yeah, like. They're like super fragile for some reason. Like they easily get bended. But I'm going to attach this back and line it up properly. It's like it's on there pretty tight. It's going to touch a little bit for a while. But I just want to get it to where it's not like hitting the stuff. to be able to move freely. to do a little bit of adjustments with the brakes um we started sounding like somebody is killing a cat in there but thank you guys for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask but um we're gonna be making a lot of uh videos with this uh, cycle board because i understand that a lot of people want to actually know how this performs um against like electric scooters that uh like this um the dutrons and uh zero 10x you know came all the scooters that are out there so we're gonna be putting this through the paste and see what it's capable of because most of the people that i i know that i get this i don't see them like making videos about it on a daily basis to kind of actually let people know if they should get this or not right so we're gonna be making a lot of videos putting new stuff out there just unbox this thing today and the big issue having right now is the fact that this charger will not charge the scooter at all. So it's plugged in right now. So you can see normally it will turn green right here. And then when you plug it in, if the, if the scooter is not completely charged, uh, it will turn red, which means it's not charging. And it even says that at the back of it, Let's see right here. It says red light means charging, green light means charge full or disconnect. So there's no indication whatsoever. We're gonna plug it in right now. So you just take this out, move this out the way, and charge it then. We'll line it up. I do hear the light and nothing. So <laughs> I think uh, there's a problem with this charging system and that is rare. It is extremely rare for this to have problems. So it's kind of weird, but Anyway, I'll keep you guys updated as to what happened because I know a lot of you want to get this cycle board stuff, but you're worried about like uh, the company or like getting in touch with them. I've already tried calling them twice. Uh, nothing goes through. I'm going to try tomorrow and I already sent them an email to see maybe you can get a new one of this and um, see if it's going to charge because it doesn't make sense, you know, for this to have a problem. If there's anything that you would like to see or you would like to know about on this uh, cycle board, uh, do uh, put a comment in the below and I uh, will try to get back to you. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.